Section 10 of Poetry of St. John of the Cross This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Section 10 The Creation O my son, I long to give thee, in my love, a loving bride, who shall by thy goodness merit with us ever to abide, who shall at the heavenly banquet, eating of my bread with me, learn to know the wondrous treasure that I have, my son, in thee, and that in thy grace and beauty, as a glory round her shed, she with me may joy for ever. Then the son gave thanks and said, On the bride which thou wilt give me, I my brightness will bestow, so that she my father's goodness in its light may love and know, learning also how my being from his being doth overflow. With my arms I will embrace her, and thy love shall be her light, so forever shall thy goodness be exalted with delight. The Same Subject For the merits of thy love, then, be it done, the Father said. In the word the Father uttered, all created things were made. In the everlasting wisdom rose the palace of the bride, which, two substances created, in a twofold form divide. With varieties unnumbered was the lower part arrayed, while the higher glowed in beauty with the wondrous gems displayed. That the bride might know the bridegroom who her heavenly nuptials graced, the angelic hosts in order in the higher part were placed. Man was placed, his nature lower, in the lower part on earth, being fashioned of a substance which was of inferior worth. And although both place and nature God in this way did divide, yet the two are both together, but one body of the bride. And the two, although divided, are one bride in his one love, who in gladness as the bridegroom is possessed by those above. Those below in hope are living of the faith that he has given, for one day he will exalt them, he hath said so unto heaven. For of those of base condition he will take away the shame, and exalt them, so that nothing shall remain to them of blame. He in all things with their likeness will himself one day invest, he will come and dwell among them, as his own elected rest. God himself will be incarnate, God will have a human birth, eating he will come, and drinking, and converse with men on earth. He will dwell himself among them, and continually stay, till the final consummation, when the ages melt away. Then shall both rejoice together in the endless life of bliss, for to him belongs the headship of the bride, and she is his. He shall bring the just together, naught shall them from her divide, for they are the living members of the body of the bride. He will tenderly embrace her, he will give her of his love, and, united with him, take her to his father's home above. Into joy shall she then enter, God no greater joy can give, when absorbed in him for ever, she the life of God shall live. So the Father, Son, and Spirit, three in one and one in three, live each living in the other, the most blessed Trinity. End of section 10